What's up, Paper Cup? We're just out for a little walk. And you can take off your mask, actually. I mean, look at this. There's really no one else here. It's like we're the only ones walking. Yeah. And the mountains. Some of you guys might still be wondering why we're even here. We're very happy to be here. It's like a, we're strengthening our marriage. Also, it's our very first trip together. And it became our promise also to one another that we will be able to travel and have something like a honeymoon. This wasn't exactly what we planned to be our honeymoon. Super far actually. But it's God, kind of like a pre-honeymoon. Yeah, God yeah. gave the opportunity and so, you know, when God promises, He follows through. This is where I get my daily exercise. No, I'm just kidding. This is where I, for real, shoot hoops. Every now and then, akalain mo ball. Yeah, hey, you can shoot, guys. I'm a natural. Kobe. <laughs> this is what it sounds like to be out on a walk here. It's so peaceful. Our favorite day, but it's just like two minutes from the house. actually here on a bit of a special mission. There's this commercial that uh, I've been wanting to show Pauline. I really hope um, you like it, but it's about keeping... It's about promises. Have you watched it now? No, I have not mm. watched it. But I just reached out and I heard it's a really good one. And then afterwards we'll be answering the question, how do we keep our marriage promise, our marriage commitment to each other even when we don't feel like it? <gasps> So funny, so I bought snacks. Aww, <laughs> I love it. Call you knew. Movie, no? I know. I think it's I don't think it's that long, honestly. But, we yeah. have so much snacks for one commercial. This is my favorite snack. You want cheetos or Doritos? Mm, I don't know. You wanna share? Aww. Yeah, wh which one? We can yeah, I, I, I wanna share. You wanna share? I wanna share with you. Wow. It's for the vlog. <laughs> yeah. Like Otherwise, open. I would just eat that. Like okay. a we can open both. Why not? Cheese chips, absolute favorite, no matter what. Gonna eat all. Okay, you ready? Are you napa? Hi. Ito ang pangako ko sa yon. Pangako ng lagi kong ipaparamdam sa yon na mahalaga ka. Anniversary. Oh. They're old already. Oh. For me, it's balik that I forget it. Pangakong hindi ko hahaya ang mahirapan at papahabak ka. Aalagaan kita sa hirap at kinawa. Ito ba yung Jesse? Sigurado ko makakabut ito sa sakit ng ulo. They're really cute though. Pangako I wanna be a salt and pepper hair lola. And that's gonna be us, oh, I'm no. sure. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. I know, I Hello? feel it. The phone call. Ah, okay. It's not bad for that. At kahit marami ka ng mga nakalimutan, pangakong hindi ko hahaya ang mawala ang masasaya nating alaala. Umipas man ang panahon, pangako ko sa iyo, patuloy lang kitang mamahalin at aalagaan. It's good. Maybe I'm just emotional. <laughs> it's good. I'm gonna get my period. I don't know. It, it's it hits different when when you're married, and so you've made that that promise. Honestly, I was not expecting to cry. <laughs> Me also. <laughs> Me also. You should have brought the shoe. Pretty legit. Love you. I love you too. Mm. I always give you flowers, even if you don't think Not it's like a flowers. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want food. 
<laughs> like, Those are real tears, man. Yeah. I wasn't expect I, okay. I feel like I'm going to going to go through that time of the month already. I can't cry on, oh, on Q. That was... So, <clears throat> I can't cry on Q either. Um, but Pyro was so nice because he was like, even if she doesn't remember. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the more that I hear you crying, the more that I'm getting tears also. I was so unconditional. She was so cute when she but then she really... She really like... <laughs> No, he he really <coughs> like still promised to love her like even if she, if she doesn't remember or if it didn't mean anything. <laughs> oh, I can't do this. It's Mark. such a nice place to get sent, you know. You can talk now. I'm done. I don't want to cry now. Years and years after, eh? come in nine months, pa lang. Not that we're, not that any of it, but you know, like there are struggles. And imagine what these these guys 30, 40 years. I don't know. But after that long, and then I don't know if, she, if she's like, if she's what sick and she. What if I what if I start to forget? What mm. if I the important things? What happens if I start to forget? I have. No doubt you're gonna be like that. I think it's what made me cry, but I don't know. Like, <laughs> this is so annoying. I this know. Is, this is like, this is so borderline cheesy, but <laughs> when I thought I was just like, oh no, like, I don't wanna ever forget. I don't wanna ever no. make you feel like you're doing it alone. But I know you really will. It's, oh it's, it's the opposite then, and apparently. Yeah. I'll still always love you. Wait, my Cheeto. <laughs> okay. I I'll, I'll still always I'll still always love you. Even if you forget. I'm scared that I'm gonna forget. You know? I'm already forgetting things. <laughs> no, that's not it's not gonna happen. But it's maybe the food that you eat or something. So uh, it's my turn. <laughs> no, but I'm like I mean for us to be in a place like this and it's so nice and the weather is perfect and it's just the two of us for a moment like i don't want to forget moments like this <laughs> it's so hard it's so hard to like uh, oh gosh question now question now what does uh, it take to keep your promise even when it gets hard i can't imagine not that i won't keep my promises but it seems more likely that i'm gonna forget things first and I'm imagining what I'd ask future you if you're like say you're old and with pepper salt and pepper hair and you have a grandchild that asks I want you. salt and pepper hair. <laughs> I really really want. Mm, okay. Makes <laughs> me look wise. And the, you're you have a, an apo that asks you, Lolo, bakit mo mo helper si Lola kahit dinya dinya maalala if if they ask. I, but I'm only, I can only imagine what you would say and you'd probably say the reason why you you started to promise things in the first place was because you were already like over you were already overflowing with a love that wasn't from yourself of course that's what I would say course, good, morning. Would good morning good <laughs> morning it's probably what you would tell and like it's true naman talaga. you really can't give what you don't have and you know a lot of us feel like we can promise unconditional love but with every next level of relationship deepening that you go through right we're pretty young in in the stages but i mean we're already married so from boyfriend to girlfriend to engaged to married we're taking care of kids now we're not parents yet but we're taking care of uh, three like little babies and and there are real everyday struggles it's not the easiest thing in the world it's nice it's happy there are great moments but some days you just find yourself running out and you know the older ones will know this and maybe you know what it's like also to have promised unconditional love to somebody but then find that one day you really just want to lash out at that person or you really feel like oh, this person deserves this kind of behavior from me. Hawaiian ko nga tong tao, you know what I mean? It's, but when you know kasi that your source is bigger than you and your source is someone who gave you unconditional love even when you didn't deserve it in the slightest. I go through those moments every day where I realize that, man, all the mistakes that I make and God is still forgiving. Yeah, it's, it's really that, no? Yung, you were shown a love that required no reciprocation yeah. and because I experienced it that's the, only, that's the only possible way I could unconditionally love someone yeah because 
I would have never known what that felt like unless I first experienced it. Yep. <laughs> For me, the reassurance to the guest. The sun. Yeah, I don't want to get emotional about it. It's so easy for me. I already cried, okay? That's enough. But, you know, saying it in the most... <sighs> just knowing that the sun is always there and, you know, the sun will always rise again. For me, that's like every day that means that God is faithful. It means that every day, even if there's night time or it gets really cold or... Um, get super cloudy. It doesn't mean the sun isn't there. And the fact that the sun rises day in and day out. I always reference this verse, but I don't care. It just, it really, it means so much to me eh? that just as the sun rises every morning, it's like God is pouring new grace, new mercies every morning just because He is that faithful to all of us. And He is the ultimate pangako, you know, He is the ultimate promise keeper. <sighs> I know you probably have your own unconditional love stories that you've either given or you've received and we really want to read them and know about them. Honestly, ng puso. So you could just share them down below in the comment section. Uh, personal anecdotes, your alaga stories, type nyo lang dyan sa baba. That's a really good. I like it. I'm sorry. Ah oh, man. Ah! Sorry. Yeah, I'll stay with you forever. Even if I'm colorblind, mm. I'll stay with you too. Just don't eat my food. Um, I can't promise that. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Hit the notification bell because we are going to be posting more and more in the coming weeks. Yeah. Ingat and as always, have a great day. Watch it if you get the chance. Watch no, it. No, they've seen it already. They just saw it now. Oh, but... sorry. Yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> YouTube plays hard.